Welcome back to a Windy City They Tan Watch, the channel where truth meets freedom, right here in the heart of Chicago. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with our latest investigations, interviews, and insights. Your support fuels our fight for freedom and truth. So, let's dive into today's journey, armed with knowledge and the relentless spirit of the Windy City. Howdy folks, Windy City Fate Watch. We're heading down to the orb. Uh, tonight there's the premiere, and I'm pretty sure it's season six of SPTV. Um, I'd be really interested to know if anybody knows the difference between season one, two, three, four, or five. Uh, if you're joining us on the replay, please leave a comment, see if that helps out on the algorithm. Um, I'm going to put my thumb over here real quick. I'm going to see if I can squeeze this down just a second. Um, this is Jackson. I think I'm a little bit out of balance, so I'm going to slide this down just a bit. This is a blue All right, it's a little more, more even this time. Um, sorry. Uh, my, I don't know if they're going to actually bring in a lot of publics or a lot of people that are here. Um, we're one stop away. We'll be up at the org fairly quickly. Uh, they are advertising that it's um, the premiere of SPCB. I'm sorry, um, Scientology TV. Uh, Hope you feel better. Thanks. Howdy, Heather. Go ahead and smash that like button for now. We're on the loud curve between Jackson and LaSalle, so I'm hearing a lot of noise. I don't know if you guys heard the mic as much on that. Uh, we were out here today, and there was just um, a protester out here. She um, she had made just this beautiful display sign, and it really just had a couple of definitions on it to get the Scientologists to think. Because if you think about it, that Scientology is very good about dictionaries and word clearing. So hopefully I'll look at that. Have some expectation of reading that. We might see some body routing tonight, and if so, I'll try to intercept them. As soon as I get up the stairs here, I'll flip the camera around so you don't have to see me twitching my nose. Uh, this afternoon, we did catch the body router uh, having their lunch. Uh, the police were called twice on the sign and there was no violation with that sign. Uh, there was a claim that they would have their supervisor, the police supervisor come back out, but there is nothing that says you can't have uh, a non-advertisement sign on a sidewalk. And especially since we were protesting and the protester was had their hands on the sign at all times. So there really was no cause of action or reason for the police to become involved in that. That doesn't mean that Scientology is going to try to evolve the police, but there was no cause of action. Yes, we're all hoping that Ellie starts feeling better. Oh, there is a big line of police vehicles here. I'm going to turn the camera around real quick. I think these are all the federal police. These are not city folk. Now, there was a protest on the river. Uh, these They are going down Clark Street towards where the... Um, organization is oh sorry that was loud uh, it's 
it appears as though, well, I can't really tell from here, I think they're going past the org. So, uh, and again, um, that looks to be a parade of federal vehicles, not city vehicles. We are coming south on Clark, about to hit Harrison. We're underneath the, uh, the scaffolding that's been at the immigration courthouse. I'm gonna hustle across here. Um, it's nice out tonight, a little bit chilly. I've got a sweatshirt with me. Uh, I'll stay out as long as, I, as long as I can tolerate the temperature. Yes, find us the sun, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do, but their sign is a uh, an advertisement. Uh, you can't uh, prohibit the, oh, we've got staffers coming in. You can't prohibit uh, signage for a uh, protest or to chill or stifle the First Amendment. Uh, she's coming in with some food. That's my, my blind check, uh, my blind gal. So uh, expecting to see that come up quickly. You know, it's a cult. They support child trafficking. They support abuses of children and you're helping them. Uh, she's getting the, uh, the speakers ready first. So we can see a child in there. Got a bit of a crowd. Oh, my white jacket uh, body rotters out there. Uh, they're signing in. We can see pretty clearly through. So you've got the uh, the custodian in the kitchen. Uh, looks like he's finishing up his dinner. See if she'll wave to me. We've got a new person on Shades tonight. So there we go with that. Uh, I'm gonna mute you for just a second. We've got a siren coming by again. Uh, like I said, there was a protest, and I don't know what the cause of action for the protest was, but uh, on the riverfront today, um, which is, uh, let's see, that's 200 north, we're 650 south. Uh, we're 650 south, so, you know, eight blocks north of here, there were uh, protesters out on the river. Absolutely. Hi, Miss Bramblett. How are you tonight? Um, as I approached the org, and I couldn't really kind of get in their face too quickly, um, there was a public, uh, a couple that was public going in. Uh, my friend with the white jacket, who uh, yesterday was out doing uh, flyers, he was out there. Um, now, they might try to lure me away on the flyers uh, earlier tonight, or as early as possible tonight. Uh, I don't see him going back towards the back door right now. Uh, I think I want to stay near here uh, up until, oh, let's say 7.15, um, just to see if there's uh, public heading into the cult. This afternoon, I was out in the alley and we saw um, a lot of the signage that's still on the posts out there. Um, the 
Bluetooth uh, kind of failed right now. Uh, I'll give you a shot of the sign right now. So, right, it says uh, all new season, all, way, all new ways to be inspired. Uh, we've got new crimes for you this season, I'm guessing. Uh, and then we've got uh, Monday, April 15th, you know, tax day, although it's a tax-free organization, so they don't pay taxes, but they're celebrating on tax day. Boy, something big is going on down there. That's the, what, eighth, ninth uh, squad car that I've seen go down with lights on. Uh, I'm kind of keeping my eye down at the bottom of the street just to see if I can see the white coat. Uh, I have not seen the legacy person. Uh, we do have another staff member coming up. Now, I get to always tease her because she always tries the locked door first. Communication is a universal solvent. Are you allowed to communicate? What other things doesn't the church allow you to do to the public? Aren't you supposed to be saving us? Can't you help us? Yeah, so something that's interesting there, it's obvious he was, Red Shoes was in and out of the organization several times today uh, while I was interviewing uh, or answering questions for that family. Uh, and that's obviously he's at least in cahoots with, if not an agent of uh, the church. And I do agree that he will probably create a threatening presence uh, when we have solo female pro protesters out here. Um, I have no care or concern about him. Sorry, I got it up. You're fine. Keep in mind, I tend to raise the camera if I'm just seeing neighborhood people come by. Uh, can you tell me anything positive about the church? How has the church helped you? Has the church helped you? Can the church help you? Is there anything the cult allows you to talk about? Usually I'll see a few more, although I can see to the back door. And the back door is closed right now. Uh, I want to see if that'll open, um, if they're letting members out the back door, uh, just so they don't have to go through the, the truth serum that I'm dishing out. Kind of keeping the camera out of everybody's. Uh, yeah, he's he's a really shady character. Um, saw him last night on a divvy bike, kind of wandering the neighborhood. Thank you. Um, an agreement of protesting the church from our last passerby. Uh, he was in the area up and down on his divvy. He never got off. Um, you know, I, I don't know if it's just that he, you know, that, that I'm not intimidated by him. So he may be trying there under the no, re no, re no reason to even try. If you get a chance today, uh, there was, and actually it's in my comments, the, uh, or my community post, um, 
there was a sign out here from a protester today. Uh, very nice. It was a well pro professionally put together sign uh, and it had two uh, definitions on it. Um, automation was the second one and it's the idea of repeating something in a mechanical uh, manner. And somebody's going to have to remind me about what the, uh, the other definition was. That's interesting. I did not notice that. Thank you. It is starting to get a little chilly down here, but that's really just that the sun's gone down. Um, I'm probably gonna put my sweatshirt on. There's some activity in there. They're going up to the second floor. Uh, the second floor shades are closed, uh, but the lights are on on the second floor. Uh, let's see here. From here, I can't really tell. Uh, you know what, let me cross the street real quick. Let's see how many rooms in the house are, are on tonight. Uh, so you've got all of the second floors lit up. Most of the fourth floor, most of the fifth floor. And that looks to be it uh, up here tonight. Head back across in a second. Uh, somebody's coming down the stairs. couple of people. Oh, there's Jessica. Um, and I don't really have a line of sight when they go up. Hi, Jess. How you doing? She's probably heading back to her uh, nine-person studio apartment. little pigeon in the neighborhood. Thank you, Dr. Mark. Uh, we are at the Chicago Ideal Org for Scientology, 650 South Clark Street. Uh, I was out here at lunchtime today. Uh, I did catch the body router. He was on lunch, he, he wasn't routing or attempting to pass out flyers. Um, the, there was a new protester out, uh, no stream, just somebody who wanted to um, share her voice or lend her voice. Uh, and she had a great sign uh, out here and it was just right in the face of all the Scientologists coming in and coming out. Uh, the police were called twice on her. Uh, they couldn't do anything. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with having a sign uh, out here. There was a claim that you can't have a sign with a base. Uh, but that's only true if it's got advertising. Uh, and she did not have any advertising on the sign. Uh, it was a First Amendment pro protest. And that is, an, uh, in effect, the police trying to chill the First Amendment, which uh, the Supreme Court has said that is illegal. Uh, any efforts to chill the uh, First Amendment rights uh, um, would open you up to a 1983 suit. Uh, 1983, uh, that's the federal uh, law uh, that would allow you to uh, penetrate uh, the qualified immunity that officers will oftentimes claim uh, if they've done something wrong. They can say, hey, it was part of my job, uh, but violating the Constitution is never a part of a police pers uh, policeman's job. So we've got Jess coming up, uh, bringing up, aha. So she went down to escort. Scientology perpetrates child abuse. Chi it perpetrates elder abuse. They've done child fraud. They won't let women go to the police and uh, announce the crimes that they committed to. If you're not against them, you're with them. 
So you like to protect predators of children. That's awesome. Great job. Uh, did somebody see he on his hat? He had, um, I didn't see it, but I did notice just before he walked in that there was a logo on his hat. Uh, that is a tactic that they've pulled lately is um, people will have an appointment to come in and a Scientologist will go and meet them uh, at one end of the street or the other to bring them into the organization. I'm still going to make them walk past me. <laughs> that is awesome. Nice catch, Mr. Framet. So Free Zenu Project was uh, out here today. Uh, he did go into the um, immigration courthouse. Uh, they kind of uh, shied him away uh, with the camera, even though he was in the lobby outside of security. Uh, they told him that he couldn't be in there. Uh, he said, fine, I'll turn it off. Uh, and he came back in and they said, you can't be in here. And I said, I've turned off the camera. And they said, it's still on. And it's like, well, no, it's not. Uh, and there just seemed to be a go back, uh, back and forth there. Um, Somebody did come out and talk to him. Uh, they were then pulled back in by their, I'll go on, no problem. Uh, they were pulled back in by their supervisor. Uh, so the supervisor, uh, similar to when Scientology pulls in their people because uh, they don't want people talking to the public. Right. We want our corruption to be hidden. I appreciate everybody's support. Uh, we're only about 300 hours away from the, um, the monetization element. Uh, I already have ordered uh, a sign, the sign, stand-up sign. Uh, remember, I'm keeping this, this camera high when it's just a neighborhood person passing through. Uh, I've already got the sign ordered, and I do want to get a, uh, a body cam just so that I can have like 24-hour uh, footage. That would be static film, not, uh, not live film. Anything positive about the church you want to share? It's a nice pin you've got. Is there anything positive about your cult? No, didn't think so. Uh, a lot of times, I'll be honest with you, the reason that I'm asking those questions is so that other passers-by can hear and understand what the question is. Season six of Scientology <laughs> premieres tonight. <laughs> College kids mocking the church. Fully understanding it is in no way a church. Um, I'll, I'll go back up and uh, I can't remember. Is it? ship shape project or something like that, but uh, they still haven't figured out how to clean bird shit off their window. I'm just looking the other door. I saw it today on Laura FM. Um, I guess confidence Chris has a backpack that you can program the, the back to display LED signs, uh, both images and I think words. Uh, that also sounds like an awesome thing. Uh, one of the things that I like is I like to try and be as mobile as possible. I love having the sign down here because the sign makes people read. But if I'm the only one down here, I, I need to be kind of mobile so I can get to the back door if I need to. Uh, and if I'm following the body routers, um, I just can't be carrying <laughs> all kinds of luggage with me.
just raising the camera to keep it out of the line of sight of uh, neighborhood. Uh, or members of the community. Uh, this person is active on the phone. Um, she might be doing uh, texting all the folks. Uh, I'll be honest with you. The um, There's somebody to my south very intent on their phone. Uh, so the tall person there is somebody who I often see walking with uh, Chadwick. Thank you. Thanks for doing the research, Dave. Now, on days when I know there'll be uh, multiple protesters down here or some people that aren't necessarily streamers, um, I'm more than happy to bring the signs down uh, to, to show up. Uh, show up, show off, keep the voice out there. Uh, I'm gonna quickly uh, travel around back. Uh, I just wanted to they were paying attention to me, so I wanted to wait until they went past me. Uh, there are a couple people here in the cafeteria. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. I, I think I just need more pockets and I also want to have more, more batteries on me so that I can uh, keep that geared up a little bit better. Looking to see if they're routing through the back right now. Um, last night uh, on the live i was in the alley and there was a card lying on the floor or on the ground and uh it was a duck which i thought wow la protester protesters would be so proud on that Uh, if you saw the afternoon um, video, you would have seen that uh, this car is too close to be Scientology. Um, you would have seen that in the trash, they don't have the lock on the trash can anymore, uh, but the trash is uh, cross-cut shredded. There's still, uh, I can see it from here, there's still an SPTV uh, Foundation uh, phone number on the dumpster. And as we go past, I think that I'll be able to show you several, uh, I don't know what you call them, um, guardrails or fenders that also have some anti-Scientology uh, propaganda. So, right, we've got the SP Foundation, SPTV Foundation there. And then if I open this up, oh, so it was emptied today. But if you go back to the, uh, the lunchtime video, you'll see that they had shredded up the paperwork. So the monkeys of Scientology are trainable. 
Uh, we're going past the back doors right now. No real activity. Yeah, they do quite a bit of vetting uh, in regards to confidential levels. And there also just seems to be a, um, a process that's, you know, uh, every once in a while, you'll just get a, hey, we need you to repeat this level. Uh, the, some of the other kind of tactics that we've seen recently, if you're feeling a little uh, faint-hearted on the money and you don't sign up for your next course as you finish one, uh, they'll assume that you didn't understand the course that you just were on. And you, they'll end up making you repeat it. So that's another way that they kind of force people to continually go up the ladder, uh, bridge, sorry, go up the bridge. Howdy quiz. Thanks for joining us, Fuzzy. Um, you go through a lot of in interrogation. I don't think there's a different word or a better word for that. Of, you know, do we trust you? Who are your friends? Uh, you, if you're watching uh, Declared Dave's channel, you would have seen him go through the life history uh, uh, questions a couple of days ago. Uh, and those have some checks in the middle of it, right? So uh, similar to like a Briggs-Meyer or any other personality test, uh, what they'll do is they'll ask you the same question, maybe five or six times, slightly paraphrased, uh, to detect if you're answering consistently on those questions. I'm going to mute you for a second. I got to. Yeah, and I'm sure there's actually some other wealthy individuals uh, who probably out of shame don't really want to uh, let people know uh, that they've left or what their net worth is. A couple more staff members heading up the street. Uh, new person here at the uh, front door. Oh, no, no, this is the, the woman who was drinking the soda the other night when Trashy was here. Anything positive to say about the church? Can you tell us about season six? What's new in season six? I guess there's nothing new in season six other than we're still gonna take your money. And as we've learned, there's nothing positive to say about the cult. The uh, older gentleman did have the a flyer that looked like that sign, you know, the season six one sign. Uh, so I'm going to see what they're headed or what they're up to. It's a cult. It's a cult. It's a church of Scientology. It's the search of Scientology. It's just a money scheme. They're going to give you a personality test. Yeah, they're going to give you a personality test. And they're going to tell you what's wrong with you. Yeah, it's just a cult. Good luck.
keep in mind that I'm keeping a nice distance behind the, the couple. Yeah, and there's also been some other kind of quiet levers um, in this space. giving them their space. You're good. You might as well go inside. I'm not letting you head another one out. You just were greeted by the cult of Scientology. Hey, Jules, thanks for coming in. Playing the role of stat crusher tonight. No raw meat through the doors. Your communication seems very good. Can we start a comm cycle? And stay in. No need to come out again tonight. I'll be here all night. Try the veal. Um, I can see through pretty well. It's a cult. Why are you supporting criminals? Is sexual abuse okay? Howdy, no one. Howdy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Be careful. Don't don't touch that bell. <laughs> they will call the police. They're very petty. <laughs> yeah. You guys have a great night. Um, so I just watched the two flyer folks. Uh, they're headed towards the back, but not the back door yet. If anybody is in the Chicago area, uh, I'm telling you, it's effective. We are, uh, we are reducing the number of people that come through this door. Uh, they are not uh, able to keep the recruit numbers up. And all we have to do is be out here and consistently remind the public of the facts. Uh, young man, old man just went into the hallway, which I think goes up the stairs. I will tell you that I have never told a lie in front of this organization. Uh, I always kind of question them. If you believe in what you're giving out, why won't you hand that flyer out in front of me? You should have better comms than I do. You should be able to tell that person that you're handing it to that you're not a cult and that your cult doesn't uh, protect criminals. It doesn't disallow women from reporting crimes against them. 
report any Scientologist about uh, reporting any crime committed by a Scientologist. And through their auditing mechanisms, they're very well aware of the crimes that have been committed by their members. They protect those people from the authorities. Uh, if need be, they will move those people out of jurisdictions. They, uh, if you review the Marion Francis um, story, she was, uh, I'm pretty born in Australia. Her mother was an artist. She was brought to uh, Flag Land Base. I'm pretty sure it might've been California, but I think it was Flag Land Base. Uh, to, she was commissioned to do some artwork. She did the artwork. Her daughter came with her. Uh, the father uh, ended up coming as well. Uh, the father committed uh, abuses against her. And when he confessed it in audit, they moved him to England and moved Miriam Francis back to Australia so that they would both be out of jurisdiction and the police couldn't be notified of the crimes. So the sexual assault uh, occurred and this church covered up those sexual assaults. They forbid the women from coming forward. They forbid Danny Masterson's rape, uh, rape victims from coming forward for 20 years. That activity took place in 2000. Oh. <laughs> Jessica's getting ready to come out, I think. Uh, she was, yeah, so she's helping somebody get their, their coat. Let's see what they uh, what they do here. They might head to the back door. Thank you for the concern, no one. I appreciate that. Uh, I, I assure you, I have no desire to put myself in harm's way. That doesn't mean that I won't, but. Um, Never while I intentionally think that it's okay to put myself in harm's way. So. Nope, you won't come out yet. <laughs> I've noticed that there's a person standing by the back door. Uh, there's a public that Jessica's kind of been talking with. It's a cult. Do any research. They cover up crimes. Look up Danny Masterson. Look up Lisa McPherson. They killed Lisa McPherson. They did. They killed Lisa. Look up Lisa McPherson. Go home and Google it. Go home and Google Danny Masterson. He raped three women. This church hid that from the authorities for 20 years. That's the church that you want to be a part of. Okay. I'm telling you, research it, research it. It's nothing but crimes, nothing but crimes. Es una secta. <laughs> yep, es una secta, and you know it. <laughs> I think that's Chadwick standing at the back door. Yeah, I'm going to say that, you know, he could have come out smiling that, hey, he didn't really care about what was going on, or he might have come out and said, yeah, I, I listened to what they had to say, and it was all bunk. So uh, we know that we've seen college kids come through here and have that same scenario. I think Chadwick. Oh no, he moved over to the other side of the corridor. Haha. <laughs> Wait, Mexican, do you have to know what their good song is?
very curious why they're by the back door. Um, not the street seems kind of empty here. Uh, I'm going to take a run around back real quick. <clears throat> We're doing a speed run in real time. Heading south on Clark. Right past All Star Seafood. I want to remind everybody, I don't begrudge any of the businesses on this street uh, for taking money the day of the event, but I will say Imprint and Paisans have continued to support the church. The uh, irrelevant to the fact that the church has perpetrated so many crimes, it encourages or allows sexual abuse Let's see if I can find the ducky card again. There is a car at the back door and <laughs> Scientology is locking up the back. Uh, they're locking up their dumpster. You can see he's uh, putting the key in real quick. He tested it to make sure it couldn't be opened. It's funny, he was standing right next to the, uh, he was standing right in front of the SPTV Nation sign, uh, or foundation sign, and didn't take it off. Uh, so I, that's why Chadwick was back here, right? He was here to open the door when, uh, when the person was ready to go back in. So we saw the dumpster man, he went in these doors. Uh, both doors are closed right now. That's very, um, it would be very atypical for those doors to be open. Uh, every once in a while, I'll catch them off guard before the org opens and they'll leave that open. So Easter Sunday, if you go back to the Easter Sunday video, uh, you'll see that was open for maybe a minute before a staff member realized I was back there filming. There were all kinds of children in the org at that point in time. Uh, and it's just an unsettling feeling to know there's that many children uh, that are in this building all the time. And worse yet, on, on Easter Sunday, they had passed out flyers to have people come and, and visit the, uh, well, not really the Easter Bunny, all the staff members had Easter Bunny ears on. Um, you know what, what I've thought about doing is uh, on the other side of the street, see if I can find somebody who's um, got an apartment in Imprint and pay for their internet so that I can put a Wi-Fi camera up there. Oops. Uh, I can put a drone up here and I have put a drone up here. So um, before the org opened, I've got the drone with the uh, garbage bags over there. Have a good night, sir. Is there much activity inside anymore? Or is there much activity inside the, uh, the residences anymore? No. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so, so 
I don't know if you saw, there was a protester with a beautiful display sign out there. I knew there was a display, I knew there was police, but I didn't yeah. go and look at it. And they claimed, uh, they wanted to claim that you can't have a sign with a base on it, and oh, that's not true. Boo. You can only have it not advertising. If it's advertising, you can't, but it's not advertising anything. <laughs> yes. Uh, the police weren't able to do anything. Yep. So, it was awesome. I hope you get some good footage. <laughs> Thank you. You have a great night. That's a fairly common response uh, from the college community. None of them is really thrilled. I, I don't want to say none. The overwhelming majority of them are very uh, disappointed with the church. They have no affinity towards, no desire to be indoctrinated into. Let's see real quick. I'm going to cross the street real quick because just in case they pushed somebody out the front door while I was there. Remember, it is kind of one of their tactics. And I'll say it's getting late and it's dark, so I don't know that they would really pass out flyers. Uh, I'm just coming over to the other side so I can get down the street quicker. They would turn this direction if they are going to go. I'd say it's, it's a mixed bag there. In, in some situations, we're getting some police that are definitely getting fed up with it. Uh, and then uh, there's others that, again, I don't know that it's... A direct payment? Hey, how you doing? I didn't see it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if, if it's a direct quid pro quo, and, and Scientology is typically not that dumb. Uh, but it's more things like donating in a police officer's name. Uh, so they'll start a little league, uh, or they'll 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 represent an MVP trophy for a little league in a police officer's name. And those are more the types of ways that they're kind of getting in the uh, getting the police to more be on their side. Safe pointing, right? So we, we've we've heard about safe pointing several times in the ex Scientology community, and they're going to mention about their criminon and their alkanon, uh, the CCHR, able. Uh, I don't necessarily know that Delphi is a good front for them, but Delphi, right, being the school system with L. Ron Hubbard tech in it or Scientology tech in there. And by the way, I'm not against Scientology tech. I don't think it works. I think it's stupid. And, and I'm, if you went to any self-help book, you'd find the same darn thing out. Um, I, I don't care about those aspects of the religion. They're stupid, but there are plenty of silly elements of other religions. I don't like the continuous criminal activities of this cult. And the uh, most, <laughs> most religions are not a cult. Some people join a religion to feel better about themselves or to help their community. That is not what this, uh, this organization is about. Hello, MD Media, or Team MD Media. I, I was watching uh, MD Media earlier, and uh, who was out there? Eric was out there with them. By the way, if Eric's in here, uh, Eric, we need to talk. I want to do an interview. I'll go up. Can you tell me anything good about the cult? Are there any aspects of the cult that are good? No, I didn't think so. Yeah, and, and again, I think in their hearts, they do think that, but it's due to this, um, the stripping of the individual uh, individuality, the group think uh, mechanism, the I must be a part of the group. Child coming out right now, right? So what was he in there? Purification rundown? Oh, 
Oh, as I was saying earlier, um, MD Media, he had put a bunch of signs out. I think they, well, he was in front of the blue building, but the way that I think about it, all those buildings in, Sci in Scientology are blue. Um, I don't know exactly which one, but he had put some signs out and the Scientologists stole them and he went after them hard. And I would encourage him to actually call the police. That is theft. And we know that they're petty enough to call us. And it's actually theft with exigent circumstances. You saw person X take object Y and run into building Z. They have every right, they won't, but they have every right to go into that building because you ha are an eyewitness seeing a crime. Uh, and it's 100% a crime. Okay, thanks, Jen. Why do you support the cult? Is it okay that they abuse children? Is it okay that they abuse elder? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, there's, we have tape. There's some taped uh, signs out there. The garbage can has uh, the SPTV Foundation number on it. I don't believe that I'm going to pull somebody out of the, the cult. Now, I will say, um, the more I say it, maybe the more it softens them. Uh, I'm not going to be the guy yelling. Now, you'll hear me raise my voice. It's a cult, but it's because I'm trying to tell... Uh, a civilian that's getting a flyer, and usually I try to stay back from the uh, the team that's passing them out so that they can't make accusatory statements. Now, we know they will take make accusatory statements. Uh, so, Gray Coat that just came in, he just went upstairs. Uh, we're seeing, uh, are those flyers? I think we're seeing flyers in uh, in that gray man in the yeah. I'm guessing those are flyers, and maybe not. It it had a very dark front on it. I'm okay being in theta. This afternoon, I titled the uh, um, titled the video uh, "In Pay to Recruiting." Thank you, Jen. It definitely would be appreciated. Uh, again, there's some signage that I have to pay for now. Uh, I'm looking to get some flyers as well, upgrading the equipment, train rides. Uh, any little bit really does help. Uh, don't feel compelled. I want to be out here no matter what. Uh, but it's much easier if uh, I'm not digging deep into my pockets to uh, continually put out this work. Has, uh, does anybody have Direct TV? Because I think it's a it's a free channel, right? I mean, if you um, if you tried to look at it, it's way up there. It's like in the ten thousands. Um, but it's the uh, Scientology Network, and actually, it might be broadcast just on Scientology.org or Scientology.com as well. Uh, there's a police presence at the bottom of the street, but I think it's because the, there was a fire call uh, the one block south, and they might. I think they're just doing. Um, traffic control down there. I will say that I was proud of my uh, thumbnail for this video. 
if you're not from Chicago, it was supposed to be a mock-up of Siskel and Ebert giving thumbs down to season six of Scientology TV. Kind of quiet out here tonight. You know it's a cult, right? Oh, <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> there is no real message in that music. <laughs> Yeah, that's another reason that um, I've mentioned this before. I like having my camera out. I just get much better um, shots of these, uh, of the members. Uh, and uh, I want to work with um, Declare Dave and kind of create a, a database of faces so that we can kind of put them up there uh, and let families search through there to see if they've got members here in Chicago. A dentist in Scientology? Hard to believe. Wise technology. Uh, for those of you that might not know, and, and again, most of you know about, more about this than I do, but Wise Technology is kind of the business admin uh, tool set that Scientology promotes to... Um, it. They do it a lot for uh, chiropractors or professionals, uh, certified professionals, and the rationale being those people learn how to be a doctor, they learn how to be a dentist, they learn how to be a chiropractor, they don't learn business, so they're kind of the easy prey uh, for the, uh, the one-size-fits-all wise technology to come in and do the administrative work uh, for the church. I'm sorry, for their, for their businesses. So. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks no one. Hopefully I said that right, right? The idea that uh, in medical school, you learn how to be a doctor. You don't learn how to be a businessman. Nice. <laughs> I feel like we're playing Jeopardy. Uh, I'll go a little bit, again, because of this time of night, you can see all the way through. Um, so again, just to give you a little bit of help here, we've got the cafeteria over here. There's several tables, kind of a barista counter. Uh, I would say it's, it's akin to a Starbucks. Uh, and then we've got these two very large hallways, which just have the media banks. Uh, and what's supposed to happen is they're supposed to bring you in. Why do you support a church that helps criminals? Look up Danny Masterson. Look up Lisa McPherson. The woman died at their hands. Danny Masterson raped three women and the church withheld them to not allow them to go to the police for 20 years. He's in jail for 30 years right now, and he's still a member in, church, in good standing with the church. If you're not against it, you're for it. That's really bothersome. So those were publics and they were giggly about everything that I just said.
uh, and then right the the other corridor. Uh, same thing. We've got video banks all the way down this side as well. So typically, when you walk in here, um, the member is really just supposed to guide you to the uh, the station. Uh, you, they might ask you a couple of preliminary questions, uh, and then based upon your answers, they might send you to the here's the way to happiness, here's the way to relationships, here's the way to wealth, uh, and they'll be sat down in front of a video, uh, and it's the video that's supposed to disseminate information. The person is unqualified to uh, share the works of the great L. Ron Hubbard. Yep. I'm not seeing the young, uh, the young fellow and the older person that were passing out flyers. Uh, the last I saw, they went upstairs. But again, when I went around back, uh, it's very possible that they would have moved out the front um, and started handing out again. Uh, I don't think they will. It's it's getting pretty late here uh, tonight. Um, it's chillier than it's been the last few days. So. Yeah, this is a true statement, right? That that's really the objective of these fronts. It's there's two. Well, there's probably three things that they're looking for, right? The one is to give the church credibility, right? To show that they are a valued member of society. Uh, then it's to pull. Um, to pull members in uh, into that space and to put money into Scientology. Well, I'm glad you came upon us, Dr. Mark. Hopefully you are as well. <laughs> Yeah. Think about the people that, uh, so if we think about this, Jessica, uh, the one that, that I've talked to before, Joe Sakala or Sasala, whatever his name is, the executive director here, the one that's getting married next month, um, they work for Dream Exchange. So that's a Scientologist, uh, a wealthy Scientologist who funds the organization and he hires people. Uh, I'm going to watch. Big guy is about to go out the back. He's probably going to have a cigarette. So I'm going to disrupt his, his smoking. Um, so in order for Jessica to leave, she's got to find new employment because she will not be able to stay employed with Joe Sakala Sr. Uh, Joe Sakala Sr. is the founder of the, the Dream Exchange. And then Junior is one of the executives. Uh, if you look at dreamexchange. I think it's .com, uh, you'll see that uh, nine of their leadership team have taken one or more of the Scientology courses. So they've already been indoctrinated into the cult. Whoops. Yeah, I'll say that's a fair statement. And if Scientology allowed people to think for themselves, I'd be okay with that. But that's not really what happens here. But I, I do agree that if you're outside of Scientology, you should be able to make up your own mind. And there's plenty of information out there. And some people say, oh, well, they're accusations. No, <laughs> there are convictions in this space. The most obvious Care to share anything positive about the church? Is there anything positive about the church? Come on, there's got to be something good about this cult. Let us know. People are going to die if you don't help us. What a selfish person. He doesn't care about me.
Now he's going to make a phone call in to say, hey, the guy's down here at this end of the, uh, the alley. Uh, yesterday, red, uh, red coated woman uh, came down here and then she went over to that block that he's in right now, uh, which is where the construction's at. And that's a very quiet street. Um, so they go over there so that they can smoke. But he's now giving them information. Not that they wouldn't have been able to find information just by watching the stupid channel. I see one of you 36 is Osa. Um, if he sends back to the organization that I'm down here, then more people, more people feel more comfortable coming out the front door and heading to imprint, right? Their, uh, their birthing is right across the street here in 717 uh, South Clark. They have anywhere from six to nine people in a studio apartment. Uh, I'm taking the skinny side here to stay out of the way of the civilians walking down the street. Uh, there are six to nine people in a studio apartment in there. The other day, I really thought that Jessica was just parking in there. And again, working for Dream Exchange, I expect she has a high salary job. Now, she might have been horn swoggled into the idea of she gets paid a lot, but she just donates a lot. Um, so she needs to take advantage of the birthing that's across the street. Yesterday, we saw her with a bundle of flowers heading over there. So they've got a magazine open there. Um, I assume it's the uh, Scientology Monthly. Yeah, and I, I can't figure out why they get birthing because staff is not supposed to, right? Um, but what I'm wondering is, are they still in a surge mechanism where they're borrowing Sea Org? Um, there are two pins that I will typically see on these people. The, the one is the very small um, eight-pointed cross. Uh, the other one, it looks more like a triangle of, of some sort. And it's, it's much larger uh, and it's got an enameled coloring, uh, blue and gold uh, in there. And I don't know if that, if either of those denote Sea Org um, I've got it up in the air. Uh, I don't know if that's what denotes Sea Org, but again, you're not supposed to get housing to the best of my knowledge. They're definitely a group that talks on the phone. They don't text. Every time somebody exits or enters this place, they're usually on the phone. Yeah, that's not it. Um, so th it's more, like I said, it's more of a triangle and it looks solid uh, in there. Uh, I think we, we saw one earlier tonight, but again, when I'm on um, the the back camera, if it's not telephoto, uh, if it's not telephoto, then you're probably not getting a good image of it. On the vest, you won't see the chevron, I don't think, right? So it's only if they've got the jacket on. I'm just raising the camera out of the view of, uh, or the line of sight of the neighborhood uh, citizens. There we have Jessica. <laughs> and here we've got some other people. Oh, get out of the way of the camera. Move, move. Yep. <laughs> I love directing them. 
Today was uh, fun. At lunchtime, we had several people uh, who were from South Africa. Uh, and I know uh, a lot of South Africans. And uh, they were talking about how in Johannesburg, there are several orgs. I assume that the continent, <laughs> I don't. Uh, I assume that the Continental Org in, for Africa is in South Africa, probably Joburg. Uh, my understanding is that Cape Town is also, um, has a, a fairly large presence uh, in there. He, uh, L. Ron, spent some time in Cape Town, or in South Africa. I don't know where in South Africa, but he was a, a man without a country for a very long time. And he was, you know, whether it was Morocco, England, uh, Africa. He definitely had to bounce around quite a bit. Yeah, so there's, um, the triangle is closer to, right, if we look at the, the big S up there, that's the two, that's the K-A-S-A-R-C triangle. Um, and then no one, what, uh, I think this is Hubbard Communications or Hubbard Foundation. I don't know if you can see it very well, but the um, right, the triangle. Can I see a better one? Oh, there's a better one right here. Right, so that one. What's the triangle one all about now? Do you remember that or no? Can you tell me anything, anything good about the cult? Does the cult help you? Don't worry if your stats are down. I'm crushing everybody's stats. And I'm going to keep crushing their stats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that's what it is. If if uh, if I if I look up the LRH, it's going to show me that again. So uh, affinity reality communication and KAS, which Dave told me KAS again, and I have forgotten KAS again. But I have remembered the initials much better now. Um, and like I said, the. Uh, this emblem, I'm pretty sure, is the Hubbard Communications or Hubbard Dianetics Foundation, something of that nature. Uh, I'm going to try something real quick. I'm going to see if I can switch it to the telephoto. I don't like it being on telephoto because it's hard for me to keep stuff in frame, but I guess that's my problem, not yours. and it can be somewhat granular sometimes. So now as we look up there, right, you've got the, the four bar triangle and the Scientology emblem with KAS and ARC. Let's see what it looks like as we... Uh, all, ooh, somebody just came by with some 420. Um, and now you can, I think you guys see a pretty good profile picture of the guy at the admin desk. Uh, all of those squad cars that went uh, south when I first arrived, they look to have all gone north just now. So here, yeah, we're seeing that the telephoto does, I think it gets in there, penetrates in there very well. Um, but then if somebody's up close to me, it's going to be a little harder. Uh, the outside lights have just come on. So... The cult is open for business. Uh, the art craft building, we're seeing that over here. I haven't seen White Coat all night, so he might have escaped and was able to uh, ha hand out flyers tonight. Uh, I haven't seen anybody come back by here with those flyers, so which wouldn't be unusual, right? If, if you get handed a flyer three blocks away from here, um, it's something you would think about for a later time, probably not a direct visit. Now, Jessica, whenever Jessica hands something out, she tries to shepherd the people back to the org. Um, and those are the people that I'm um, most adamant about giving them information. I've got the camera up.
Wait. Is your claim that you can shut the doors better than I can? Ugh. Challenge accepted. Hold on, hold on. I found that uh, they will typically, oh, we'll get a good shot of Jessica here. So Jessica's the one in blonde, uh, talking with her hand on the face. Talk to the other one. Yeah, I have no doubt that's what happened. And, and you will see them use that tactic. Um, there was a woman, boy, two days ago uh, down on Polk. And I know I use these streets and, and expect that you guys always remember where what the orientation is. But that's a block and a half away. And she uh, helped, led the woman by the elbow for about three quarters of a block. And finally, the woman said, I don't want to uh, I don't want to go with you guys. And I let her know, hey, you're free to go, right? It's a cult. So it turns out if um, if there's an officer here and he hasn't been retrained, the, the um, darn it, Blue Star folks, if they haven't been retrained, they'll quickly close the doors. But then somebody else will come out and they'll reopen the doors because they've got the boom box out here and they want to blast the music. Uh, and I'm going to say that there's two reasons they're doing the music. One is the copyright strike, but I don't think it's defensible because uh, it's a violation of the terms of service of um, uh, YouTube and it's a chilling of the First Amendment. The second reason is it probably kind of shelters my voice uh, as people are entering uh, and it shelters all of our voices as we walk in there. 100%. If, if I touch anybody on the elbow, do you, who doesn't think the police are coming? Right. Yeah, I'm going to say it's slightly different. Um, does your hospital close them because people are coming up to protest the hospital or does your hospital close them to maybe um, keep the shade, the sun out of uh, out of the organism, uh, out of the hospital? So it's, it's very that it doesn't matter what time of day, if there is not a protester, right? I arrived here at what, um, 6 30, 7 o'clock. Are you okay supporting the criminals? Is child abuse acceptable? Should women be able to report their abuses to the police? Why would you be in a cult that disallows women from reporting crimes? Help me understand it. I've got two ears, I'll listen. May God have mercy on your soul. Sorry, I'm going back to the the blinds that, right, we came here at seven o'clock and the blinds were fully open, door was open, no music, everybody was happy. And as soon as the camera shows up, the blinds have to come down and the music has to go on. Uh, the same thing uh, when I came here at lunchtime today, uh, the blinds were open. And as soon as I show up, those blinds come down in a heartbeat and, um, my favorite uh, blind gal, uh, she was in the doorway, so she quickly got her Bluetooth boombox, brought it out into the foyer so that she could start blasting music, and then immediately came back in and closed the blinds. What I love is when they have to like tag team do the blinds, right? It's, oh, gotta, let's, all hands on deck, blinds must come down. There's actually a lot of people in here tonight. So if we look over here, right, we're seeing Oh, four or five people in the cafeteria area. Uh, we've got the person at the desk.
Uh, here we've got the, go please see the receptionist if you're gonna walk in here. And by the way, Eric, I'm not trying to call you out or anything. I just wanna say that I understand that there are good reasons to pull your blinds and bad reasons to pull your blinds. Uh, when I'm at home and I'm ready to uh, change from my bed clothes into my work clothes, uh, it turns out I pull the blinds. But if, uh, if I'm uh, in the house and fully clothed, I don't really have to have the blinds closed. Yeah, right. So if if this was a business, which, by the way, it is a business, it's just a terribly run business, um, their labor costs are really high right now, except for the fact they don't pay labor. Right? Can somebody do me a favor? And um, on my community page, I posted the sign that the protester had today. Uh, I can't remember what the top definition was. Uh, I remember the second one being automated or automation uh, and just that idea that you do things through muscle memory and unconsciousness, but I couldn't remember what the, uh, the first definition was. I loved that sign. And it just said SPTV on the bottom with, uh, you know, I have the SPTV symbol on the bottom. That's because you ugly. <laughs> Just kidding for those that don't understand. Yep. Uh, autonomy, right. The ability to think for yourself, to have your own thoughts, to have your own ideas. I so I was pleased as punch, and and the person that brought it out wanted no fame, wanted no fortune, just wanted to lend her voice, and that's that's really what I think this should be about, right? Last night, um, I was able to intercept the body router a couple of times. Uh, they did finally elude me, and I felt bad about that, but uh, I will say I'm going to learn from the mistake. Uh, I gave them a little bit too much space at the corners. Again, when it comes to body routing or following the body routers, I need to maintain a very respectful distance, and I can't make any fast motions towards them uh, because I don't want them to be able to claim they're afraid of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he must have just been one of the po folk. Um, uh, I had an incredible thought just now. Um, just trust me, it was awesome, but I've totally forgotten what I was going to say. Oh, at the end of the lunchtime, Free Zenu uh, project, he. Uh, caught um, a Hispanic spe a Spanish speaking woman coming out of the org and she couldn't speak English but he could understand a couple of things she went in and she thought it was a Christian organization um, so she was very glad that we were able to inter intercept her and inform her uh, what what she might have been trying to get herself into Thank you, Jules. Um, in the, does the Navy actually have Commodore? Because I never really remember hearing people were the Commodore, but I do know it, um, like uh, uh, Vanderbilt right, was a Commodore, but that was old, like 
almost merchant marines. So now we've got uh, to talk a little bit so we can stay over top of the uh, copyrighted music. Um, they are not playing, uh, I don't think they're playing Scientology music right now. Sorry, I'm just kind of walking back and forth here, generating a little heat. Got some neighborhood folk coming through. Yeah, when I see Rear Admiral and lower half, all I'm thinking is uh, out 2D. Nice. I'm. I usually have uh, a female uh, that's doing it. Now, the um, if you look when uh, when I was going to say Tom Selleck uh, when Tom Cruise got his um, dinner plate uh, medal, uh, he and Captain Davy of the Space Navy saluted one another, and it looked awkward as as wait awkward af <laughs> inquiring minds want to know You know, that's also, I've never seen the a whistle blow, um, and I've never really seen, like, permission to come aboard. I imagine on free winds, uh, that's probably something you have to do. If you listen to old timers on free winds, um, they're, like, w when, in the, in the old days, like, in the really old days, pirate days, uh, if you did something to upset the captain, they would uh, keel haul you, right? They'd tie a rope to you. And that rope was attached to both sides of the boat and they would pull you under the boat and then over the boat and that was they would pull you past the keel that was just a penalty you could get in the old days that happened on free wind right now they wouldn't send them under there but they would definitely throw people off the ship uh, i think we're about to see uh some people come out so sign them up get that money out get that money out folks this will be ugly. <laughs> about face. <laughs> that was awesome. Did you see the public about to come out? Let me head over to the other door real quick. No, he's just sitting at the uh, he's standing at the desk there. But I want to help these uh, these two publics that are filling out their next class. I'm guessing. Hey, no one right now. So you've got the, uh, the, the, the member, the bald member, uh, filling out a form. Is he really kind of getting these guys onto their next course or, um, what, is, what's going on there? Any idea? But boy, there's a lot of people in there. So I'm going to help them understand some of the stuff's going on here. Is it acceptable that women can't report crimes that this church? So this church won't let women report crimes if they've been committed by one of the members. How do you know? It's been documented in 27 times. Danny Masters is in jail right now for 30 years to life. He's still a member in good standing. He raped three women in this church. This church disavowed those people. He did. They disconnected those people when those people came forward to go to the police. For 20 years, they were not allowed to go to the police. That's what you're signing up for. Okay, I just want to help you out. That look it up. Look up Lisa McPherson. She died at their hands. Danny Masterson. He's the popular '70s star, '70s TV show star. 
um, uh, Miriam, uh, Miriam Francis. She was raped by her father. They sent her father to England and they sent her back to Australia so they get out of jurisdiction. That's the crimes that this church does. At this low level, it's so innocuous. Let me help you with the way to happiness. Let me show you how to make money. That's what they're going to show at the beginning. And then every time you take a course, they're going to make you sign up for the next course. It's really easy. Just do some research. I'm telling you right now. It's so easy to find this out. They, they tried to sell me a book. But I, don't know. I know that. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> so I, was, I, I asked one of my friends who's an ex-Scientologist what he was doing. He said they're trying to sell him either on a course or a book. Right. Uh, I think he wants me to read a book. Yep. Oh, and none of their stuff's on Audible. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. I'm going to call that a victory, folks. So they live in imprint. They are probably being proselytized by the people that are also members over there. You know, there's some days that I really feel good about being out here. You know, I, I was a little bit down yesterday when they were able to finally evade me. You know, I did keep two people from getting the flyer, so that was good. Um, but on days when I can just deliver that information and I think it sinks in, um, and, you know, as he said, they were trying to sell him a book. Oh, damn it, you guys couldn't hear him. Sorry about that. But he asked me how I knew these things, uh, and I did mention that it was well documented uh, and some of those other elements that are there. I don't know. What is this place? It's the cult of Scientology. So, church, so they're going to say they're a church, but it's really a cult. What they do is they'll bring you in for these. Yeah. Yeah. What, yep. they, what they are now? So I'm protesting. So they, so they allow for criminal abuse. If a woman is raped by a member of their church, the woman is not allowed to go to the police. What? So Danny Masters, do you know who Danny Masterson is? He was that 70s show, stupid white show, right? He raped women in, in 2003. The three women that he raped, the church wouldn't allow them to go to the police. Just now, this past October, he was finally convicted of the rapes. He's in jail for 30 years to life. He is still a member in good standing of this church. Of this church. And I say I say church very I said, loosely. I said, look, we feel, I'm gonna go in there and holler, Jesus. I'm gonna <laughs> there are people that think they're they want people to think that it's a regular mainstream Christian. No. It is not. Is the, they believe so here's their theory. It's the the guy is a science fiction writer. Uh, folks, I'm not putting on my camera because I, I assume that that's not really what you're here for. Um, he was a science fiction writer. The claim is that 70 million years ago, or maybe a trillion years ago, uh, a guy named Xenu in a galaxy far, far away, it was overpopulated. So he gathered up all those people, he brought them to this earth, he put them in volcanoes and blew them off the atomic bombs. That's the basis of their religion. <laughs> Bat shit crazy? <laughs> so, th so again, at the lowest levels, there are things like um, they'll tell you way to happiness. They're going to give you a personality test on your first time in. And that personality test is going to show a couple of little flaws. Like, oh, it, are you having trouble with wealth? Are you having trouble with a relationship? Which, by the way, who doesn't have some of these problems? Right. And, and they're common sense solutions. And then you'll buy a book. And then let's see, we helped you with that. Now we've got another thing that you can work on. So we'll help you with that. And we'll buy, you know, buy this next book. And eventually you're hundreds of thousands of dollars into this church. And you could have gotten it anywhere online for whatever you want to do. It's just creepy stuff. If you can tell anybody, please keep letting them know. So that's why I'm out here. Hopefully you understand. <laughs> yep. Oh, by the way, they're also now, now that in Chicago, they're kind of in bed with Nation of Islam as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm going to call that two victories.
I'm feeling good about tonight. Oh, thanks, Jules. Sorry. How you doing? No, I'm sorry. I'm talking. <laughs> um, when I'm engaged with, with people, I don't see the chat. And I apologize. I just think it's very important that I'm present talking to them so that they don't, um, they, they just don't think I'm a, a talking moot or a mime uh, in this process. Thank you, Annette. Thanks, Dave. And I can't remember. So the thing is, it was 76 planets. Was it billion years, trillion years? And as a science fiction writer, you couldn't come up with something better than a DC-8 So Xenu came here into the future, found McDonnell Douglas, stole the DC-8 plans and said, take the props off and put rockets there. That's how we'll get those people back to Taguchigami. And I know that it's not Taguchigami, um, whatever the T value of Earth was back in the day. They're like IBM. It's just a rounding error. I used to love that. I would consult for uh, IBM and they would tell me $30 million is a rounding error. And I try to express to them, you need new accountants. We've got a lot of foot traffic out here. I'm just trying to keep them off camera. Do you know about the cult? <laughs> it's a cult. <laughs> Just a passerby. Dave, I've got another task for you. Um, I think that they've mostly wiped it out of most of the books but have you ever seen the actual quote from L. Ron Hubbard on um, people of color being um, um, degraded beings? Um, I just can't find it. And I, I feel like they've really kind of wiped it out of history. Yeah, Mark, there's a, there's a couple here in Chicago that are really, really old. And uh, let's see, the other, there's a short video on mine and it's, um, it's, if you look at the videos, it's the most recent video. And it's, I was able to block the body routers from getting out of the organization, but there's a curb here. You can see this and it's right, a, a basic, you know, six inch curb. The woman, was trying to come from across the street because they, they live in the birthing across uh, across street here. And she was trying to walk up this, um, this curb and it took her three tries to get the momentum to come up. It's like, ma'am, why aren't you in retirement in Florida somewhere enjoying your, your sunset years? Thank you, sir. Now, I did find several documents, other documents of general accusations of racism. Which again, that racism, I, I have zero understanding of how the Nation of Islam is in any way able to tolerate this group. <coughs> and if you look at them, you know, 
the the makeup of this is a highly Anglo cult. Thanks, I'll look there too. So there's uh, a woman looked to be public or at least in civilian clothes, kind of hanging out in this alleyway. Uh, we're about to see one of the college recruits. Still happy with the church? So, if you go back and look at my uh, Columbia um, or Scientology has students in Columbia, she's one of the recruiters that they got. So she's a Columbia student and she took um, paperwork on recruiting nights over to her dorm uh, to disseminate that or proselytize inside there. Oh, thank you, Jules. Jules, I didn't even think about that. Um, if you, uh, one of the things that I really love about Declare Dave is he'll sit down and he'll go through some of the literature uh, of the church. Uh, we've seen Way to Happiness. We've seen uh, the uh, Life History Form uh, and several other books. He's got plenty of uh, books in his library and he just goes over those. And I think they're really uh, enjoyable or informative to listen to that. Cult of Scientology. You're not alone, alone, Lori. I want to see if we can figure out a Wendy and Dave or a Dave and Wendy uh, collab. <laughs> My guess is those damn books. <laughs> All right, folks. I'm running a little bit low on battery. Uh, I think I'm gonna. Mic I think I'm gonna call it a night. I really appreciate everybody being here. Uh, if you get a chance to, please head over to my website. Um, on the website, if you go to the contact us page, you can go ahead and um, uh, send me either an anonymous or a named email, and I'm usually pretty responsive to that. Uh, I've also got some posts on there. You'll see one blog right now about the um, the Dream Exchange. And I am going to ask the mods if we can find a live and go rate them. Thank you, everybody, for being here tonight. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you can help and you see it in your heart, great. Love it. I recycle all of that back into the efforts here. Um, I have no uh, no expectations of becoming a billionaire from YouTube here. Uh, I have started a second channel that's uh, Windy City Wander Chicago. And that's really going to be more of a travel guide. Normally when I leave the org, uh, I kind of go through the city a little bit and we'll do that as well. The protesting part of tonight's over. So I would say, hey, let's go find uh, another channel to raid but if you want to see some lit up chicago we'll take a little walk uh, that building ahead of us is the federal prison you can see the very narrow vertical windows uh, that's just a security feature uh, maybe 10 years ago there was an escape from there and uh, in that middle you can see those uh, rectangular horizontal windows that is the, um, uh, darn it, 
uh, medical place, uh, sorry, the uh, medical area of the prison. And what happened is they tied uh, sheets together and climbed down the sheets to escape. Uh, they were caught, I think, three days later uh, and sentenced to much longer terms in prison. This is Fifth Third Bank. Uh, the claim was that the alley behind here is owned by Fifth Third Blank Bank and that they had granted Scientology the right to trespass people. Uh, an absolute bullshit statement, uh, but the police backed them up. Uh, as we walk down, the building at the end of the street is uh, Roosevelt University uh, student housing. All of this area is residential. This used to be, it's called Printer's Row. This used to be where all of the printing uh, and um, illustrations were done. So newspapers, books, uh, magazines were all manufactured, uh, manufactured, printed <laughs> and distributed out of this area. Now everything's been converted. Uh, most of these are still the old buildings. Uh, Imprint is one of the few new buildings in this neighborhood. Uh, I'm going to switch cameras to the uh, non-zoom. Sorry. I found that if I try to do this when I'm walking, I make 27 mistakes. That um, all of the manufacturing uh, spaces have been turned into residential. Uh, I'm going to go down to State Street. I usually don't go that far over there, but... Let's, let's give that a shot. Uh, we've got lit up trees down here. And then at the bottom, you can see the clock tower, but I don't know how well that shows up at night. Thank you for being here, Dr. Mark. Uh, the building on our right is, as you can see that sign, Jones College Prep. Uh, Jones College Prep is one of the magnet schools. A magnet school in Chicago is a school where you test into. Uh, you don't have to live within a boundary. You can uh, test into it as long as you live anywhere within the city. Most of the other high schools, uh, you're attending those high schools because you're in that locale. I think this weekend I'm going to try and do a um, a tour of Pilsen. And Pilsen has some of the most incredible graffiti. Uh, Pilsen historically was a Polish neighborhood, uh, but it, now it is highly Hispanic. Um, great uh, restaurants, tacos, Mexican, um, Hispanic flavors. So now we're going north on State Street. Uh, all of Printer's Row is retail uh, on the ground floor. So the first floor of every place is, is retail. Um, you can see up here we've got a gym. Maybe you can see, maybe you can't. On there. Infirmary, thank you, Dr. Mark. You know, the sick, per, uh, the sick, the sick people place. I feel like um, the lawyer on the Simpsons. That's why you're the judge and I'm the law talking guy. Uh, if you can see up the sign, it's uh, this is branded as DePaul on this corner here. It is the university center. The next building across the street, Robert Morris Center, and that's Robert Morris College. The very tall building that's black and you see the white uh, towards the front of it, that, that white lettering says Roosevelt University. Again, just a plethora of college students or young minds. We're crossing the street here and going past the Harold Washington Library. Uh, this has some of the most ornate copper work upstairs. Love that.
Thank you, Jules, for that. Oh, this is neat. This is, uh, we used to have what they called the bookmobile and they would travel around with a subset of books from the library and they would come and visit your schools. Uh, and apparently the library is 150 years old. Uh, Chicago Public Library is free. Uh, oh. <laughs> Here we see some of the founders of this. Pritzker, uh, again, of the famed Governor Pritzker family. They're very wealthy. Uh, and you've got the Pritzker Pavilion over there in Grant Park. And there's a Pritzker High School. Uh, currently we have Governor Pritzker here in Illinois. This is a really neat building to go into. Uh, and it is in honor of, it's named after uh, Harold Washington. Uh, he, is, he was the first black mayor of Chicago. Uh, we currently have a black mayor, Brandon Johnson. Uh, our last mayor was black, female, and um, I, 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 yeah, she's binary, but um, L, LGBTQ, uh, LGBTQ and other letters, um, which again, I'm, I like the diversity, right? Chicago has always been a diverse city. So maybe it is time that we didn't have old white men as the leaders. And by the way, someday I'm going to be an old white man. Um, I hope, uh, but I'm okay that others get a fair share of leadership. Uh, ahead of us is the UIC Law School. UIC just recently uh, claimed this building. It used to be uh, John Marshall Law. Uh, I don't remember what university John Law was a part of. Uh, looks like there's been some police activity down here. Well, there's a police surge going on down here. Uh, this is traditionally a pretty active uh, corner. Got a canine unit out here in the middle of the street. Uh, here again, we've got DePaul University. So um, classrooms upstairs. And then the bookstore is on the main level here, uh, as long as, as well as some restaurants. Yeah, so now this has been, so this is University of Illinois, Chicago. Uh, and UIC's big campus is about uh, eight blocks west of here on Halstead and uh, Van Buren. Uh, used to always come by here and you would see students just bur bur buried in books uh, in this little lounge area. Uh, my understanding is that in order to study law, you have to be an incredibly good reader. Continuing north, we're crossing Jackson right now. Jackson is 300 south. Eh, kind of an interesting view. If we look down here, um, you've got the, the lit streets on both sides. The stock exchange is down there, the whiter, the white building down there. Uh, here again, you're seeing the, uh, the Daily the Younger. So Richard M. and Maggie C. Daly's uh, building. This is a DePaul that's, it's named for the Daly's, but it's a DePaul uh, University building. In 2007-8, when we had the housing crisis, the universities were well endowed and just had boatloads of cash, as did the Church of Scientology, and all of these buildings were kind of going up in a fire sale. So that's why there's such a heavy presence of universities down here right now. They just were able to buy all of these buildings so cheaply, and it is also one of the reasons probably why 
Scientology was able to acquire uh, that beautiful art craft building in Printer's Row. Hey, why haven't you guys gone and raided somebody? I appreciate you're still staying here. I really need the watch hour. So if anybody wants to fall asleep to my playlist of protests and audits, that would be excellent. I think we're about 300 hours away from the, the 3000 hour mark. This is a fairly iconic restaurant, the, the Berghof. Um, you would have seen the old stars kind of visit in there quite a bit. Um, and oh, what? no, there it is, uh, further down there, Berghof. And they brewed their own beer. Uh, it's a really old place. If you go in there, it feels like it's still 1930s in there. They've done very soft renovation, uh, keeping the, the old character of that building. Uh, quite intact. Not sure what this space used to be, uh, but I think that they were kind of crushed by COVID and still looking for tenants. Uh, the vast majority of the rest of the street is very well populated. Um, there's very few vacant spaces down here. Uh, this is the Palmer House, really neat old hotel. Potter Palmer was, uh, again, one of the tycoons around the time when the retail tycoons kind of were the, uh, the retail tycoons and the um, stockyard and the railroad tycoons were all based in Chicago. Well, if you weren't based in, in New York, you were based in Chicago. See you, SRA. Thanks for being here. Got a Capital One Cafe. Uh, I am going to head over to Dearborn and catch my train north. So I'm not going to say you have to go home, but you can't stay here. I really appreciate everybody being here tonight. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we learned something. It was awesome that we were able to inform uh, some of the people that were in and out of these doors. Uh, I'm glad that that, uh, that last couple, uh, as they came out, you know, I'll say I was aggressive trying to express to them the crimes of the church. Uh, it was glad to finally hear from them, hey, we're not members of, we live across the street. And I think they took to heart what I was saying. Hopefully they'll do some Google searches. Will do. Thank you, Dorothy. All right. And I am now, hopefully you've sent everybody elsewhere by now, but uh, I'm going to end the stream. And if you, if there is a live that we can go raid, go ahead and do it. Thanks everybody.